In this video, I'm gonna be discussing the five things that could be holding you back from going gray. Hi, I'm Lynn, and I inspire women to go naturally silver and to embrace the best parts of themselves. So much of who we are is tied into our hair color. A lot of us have preconceived ideas of what gray hair actually signifies. So the first thing that is probably holding you back from going gray is the fear of looking old. You're probably thinking of the golden girls or thinking of all the toxic advertising that you might've been exposed to even from a young age that you better cover up those roots because they're gonna make you look old and gray hair is gonna age you. Add to that the attitudes from your parents, from your mom, your aunts, you know, your friends, your coworkers. And you're probably thinking that, you know, gray hair is something that you're gonna do way down the road, if at all. Now we do live in a youth obsessed culture, but I'm here to tell you that a lot of people start seeing their first gray hairs from a very young age, in their 20s and in their 30s. I was in my 20s when I first spotted my first grays. So the connection to gray hair and age, it's actually a social construct and something that we as a culture have just, you know, accepted. But that is changing and a lot of women are starting to just embrace their natural silver hair like any other hair color. The second thing that might be holding you back from ditching the dye is the fear of becoming invisible, being overlooked for a job promotion, or maybe your romantic partner is not gonna find you as attractive. Those are things that are real fears for people and maybe why you might be hesitant to ditch the dye. The fear that maybe you would lose your competitive edge in the workplace. If you're competing with your peers and your colleagues that are much younger than you, you might feel that letting yourself go gray is actually going to hinder your career. And if you're single, you could maybe be worried about how it would affect your dating life. But some women see their silver hair as a power move, professionally and romantically. And the confidence that you gain from being your authentic self is very attractive. Now the third thing that might be keeping you from going gray is that you simply just don't know anybody else who's doing it and you don't want to do it alone. And so you feel like, you know, everybody else is coloring their hair. They're saying they're going to color their hair forever. And you're going to feel like you're the only person in the world that's doing it. So I would encourage you to get online and look at the Silver Sisters community because there are a lot of us out here who are actually embracing our natural silver hair. Some of us are completely white haired. Some of us are more gray hair and steel colored hair. I have salt and pepper hair and I have silver streaks. So there's just so many different variations of going silver and you will find inspiration and encouragement along the way. Even if you don't know anybody in real life who's going gray, there are a lot of people who are doing it and you can connect with a lot of people who are doing it. So join the online community of Silver Sisters. They're there to cheer you on and keep you going, especially when you have those moments where you really feel like you need to diet. Those early months are not easy, that it is difficult, but to get you through, that's what the Silver Sisters are here for. The fourth thing that generally holds people back is the skunk stripe. That's right. Worrying about that line of demarcation as it's coming down and seeing that stark contrast between your dyed ends and your natural silver hair coming in and how do you deal with that? That could keep you from going gray. There are so many ways you can deal with that skunk stripe. In the beginning of your grow out, you can use root touch-up sprays, you can cover it with hats and scarves and creative hairstyles, and you can do some things to kind of hide it. Now, as you go along, some of those techniques won't work as well, but I guarantee that as time goes by, you're gonna get so used to looking at your hair two-toned that you're probably not even gonna worry about it anymore. You can go to a salon and have it color blended. That will fade. They're gonna put a toner in and that will fade eventually. So there is gonna be some maintenance to that. You can cut it short. There's just so many ways that you can go about dealing with that line of demarcation. And the fifth and final thing that might be keeping you from going gray is the fact that our identity is wrapped up in the color of our hair. So you may for your entire life have been known as the blonde or the brunette or the redhead and suddenly you're gonna shift a big part of your identity and becoming a silver sister. So that is, is very difficult to let go of, especially if, like I said, if you've had that same hair color for many, many years, 
it is gonna be tough for you to change. Maybe you're worried that you're gonna look in the mirror and you're not gonna recognize yourself or that you're gonna have to change your wardrobe and change the colors of makeup that you wanna wear. And all of those things can be really intimidating, especially if you have a look that you've identified with for many, many years. So that could be keeping you from taking the plunge and ditching the dye. That is part of your identity and it's become part of who you are and maybe you don't wanna give that up just yet. And if you're not ready to give it up just yet, that's okay too. With going gray, because it doesn't happen overnight, there is a gradual shedding of a previous version of yourself into a new version of yourself. And if you allow that to come in, there is a sense of increased confidence and an increase in your level of authenticity. That's not to say that if you dye your hair, you're not authentic, but it just means that for the women who want to go gray, there is another transformation that occurs that has nothing to do with the color of your hair. What's nice about the fact that the transition to your silver hair is such a long journey is it does give you lots of time to sort of gradually grow accustomed to your new hair color. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.